Ahoy mateys! If you have not heard, this channel is for late teens and adults. If you're under the age of 13, then you young swabbies should not be watching my content. Now if you want to help me defeat the evil coppa and YouTube algorithm so we can remove this terrible disclaimer, make sure to hit that subscribe button to give me the influence I need to convince the overlords to drop this nonsense. Anyways, anyways, where was I? Oh yes. I remember my maiden voyage like it was yesterday. I heard rumors of the Sea of Thieves and was just a wee swabby then. I even had both of my hands, in fact. How I lost this hand has a grand story behind it, but I will save that for another time. What was I saying now? Oh yes, I was just a wee swabby, but I wanted to become a legend. So I ventured out to see if I could break through the shroud, but a storm came out of nowhere and I was marooned on an island, and when I woke up, well, I couldn't believe my eyes. You look a little worse for wear, my friend. You must be on quite the journey. I should eat something if I were you. A full belly can do wonders for your spirits. Once you're in good health, we'll speak properly. There, you look better already. Maybe even strong enough to reach the Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. These days they call me the Pirate Lord. But back when I discovered this place, I was just a bold explorer like you. I dreamt of finding uncharted waters filled with treasures and rife with danger, where every sunrise brought a new adventure. You've been brave to make it this far. Not many do. Now you've one last crossing to make. You'll want some trusty steel at your side, though. There's a sword in those trees whose owner doesn't seem to need it anymore. There's far more to being a pirate than a blade in your hand and a love of other people's money. It's about finding your way through ancient caverns by lamplight, digging up long-lost treasures, and raising a frothing great tankard of grog when you live to tell the tale. For all that, you'll need the right equipment. You can start by taking this old shovel. I stowed a few belongings around here back in the day. The map will show you the way. Let's see if she still hides her secrets. A fine weapon. She'll serve you well out there. 
There's plenty more to see, so why not stretch your legs and explore? I'll be here when you're ready to leave. So as any good pirate, I decided to take a look around the island to see what was there before I boarded my ship. To my surprise, I found 10 journals and one of them required a key to get to. I even found a secret hideout. Let's see, where were all those journals again? It was so long ago, let me see if I can remember. There was one in the shipwreck to the northwest side of the island. One through the waterfall at the closest spring from the frying pan as soon as I woke up. There was one in the back of the pirate lord ship next to the wheel. I found one on top of the pirate lord's crow's nest. There was one, I think, next to some broken barrels near a white hammock, I believe. I also remember one being near the grass next to the bottom of a ladder that was near the bridge connecting the two parts of the island. There was one I found at the top of the peak of the island, at a tiny camp. There was one, I think, near the frying pan just past the door. I found one above the ladder past the door. If you take a left as soon as you enter, you'll find it there. And the last one, yes, the last one which required a key to get to. Well, the key took me a little while to find, but was able to find it near a spring. The journal, well, that and some gold was locked down in the hold of the Pirate Lord's ship at the bottom half. When I found this hidden hideout, I was very surprised to see lots of gold down there ripe for the taking, and as a pirate, I decided to help myself. 
but that's where I found the last journal. After finding all these hidden journals, I decided it was time to head back and talk to the Pirate Lord and start heading towards the Sea of Thieves. Well now, I say you're as ready as you'll ever be for what's ahead. Allow me to show you the path. The shroud is beginning to part, but you have one more task before your journey continues. You may be ready to sail, but your ship still needs repairs. Go and tend to her wounds. There I was. I made it to the infamous Sea of Thieves. I had no idea the adventures that were ahead of me, and the crew that I would find there. I also had no idea that I would be making a deal with the ferryman that would forever change me and make me the cursed captain of the Sea of Thieves.